Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this birthday bash design. So without much ado, let's get started. So I'm going to drag this image in. I have used this image a couple of times, so you sort of have an idea what this image is. And I'm going to go ahead and set it somewhere here. Double click to accept. Now I'm going to go under filter, blur, gushing blur, and I'm going to go ahead and add a blur effect at uh, 13%. Go ahead and click OK. Now we want to go ahead and add in a solid color. So click on your image above, go under your adjustment, add a solid color. Now we want to go ahead and choose a deeper blue and I'm going to go ahead to click OK. So we're going to go ahead and change the blend mode of this to vivid light. Take down the opacity a little so that it's not too much. Drag this image in and I'm going to go ahead to scale this image. Double click to accept. To change the blend mode of this to soft light and I'm going to go back to filter, gush and blur and I'm going to apply the same effect so that the lines are not so sharp, but they are sort of bled in. I'm going to go ahead to click OK. Now we're going to make another copy, Command J, make another copy of that. And I'm going to go ahead to rotate this one. I'm going to rotate it and set it somewhere like that. I'm going to go ahead to bring in my next image and I'm going to set it in. And I'm going to go ahead to scale it. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to scale this so we have something like this. Go under our blur, Gaussian blur, and we want to add a blur effect to this image as well. So we have something more like this. Now go ahead and click OK, add a layer max, and with our brush, your foreground as black, we want to go ahead and brush away some areas of our image that we don't want to see so i'm trying to as you can see create this uh effect now you can reduce your flow so that you don't take too much away from your image go ahead and pick up our type tool click on my foreground and background set it to white i'm going to make sure i'm using the agagi pro and I'm going to type in bash. With my move tool, I'm going to go ahead and scale my text and set it in place. We are going to double click and I'm going to set it to like a honey mustard. So with this set, we are going to double click on our font. It will open up our layer style. Now we wanna go ahead and add a drop shadow and we wanna add an inner glow as well as an outer glow. So we are going to click on our inner glow and I'm going to increase my size and I'm going to change my inner glow. So I get this sort of effect and I'm going to go ahead to increase it a little so I have this glow effect. Now I'm going to go ahead to go to my outer glow, click on the color and I'm going to try and choose something to come out of that and you can go ahead to play with the size. You can increase it or you can decrease it depending on what you want. So once we have this set, we want to go ahead and make a copy of our bash. So Command J, make a copy, move that up, and we are going to click on that layer, right click, and basically go ahead and clear the layer style. Now we want to go ahead to right click on that layer and we want to convert it into a shape. Pick up your path tool and you want to make sure your fill color is empty and your stroke, you want to set it to about a six or however you want. We are going to change the color to white and maybe set this to eight. Now, if we want to add the glow effect on the bash, we are just going to click on that layer and you want to right click, make a copy, go and make a copy of that layer style, click on the new layer and paste the layer style. So you notice that it gives you this glow effect. Now, if you want to bump it up a little more, 
you can double click on your layer so guys i noticed that i wasn't able to show you how to get a very good uh, glow effect on your outline text so i wanted to show you guys now your drop shadow you notice it's on normal and my opacity is around 83 and then my size is at eight my distance is at nine when you go onto your outer glow you notice the text is white so your outer glow you want to make sure that you have your blend mode set to normal and you can choose whatever color that you want i have my spread at nine size 18 and my technique is soft and not precise and then you can go ahead to click ok and you can then go ahead and make a duplicate i hope that this was helpful let's move on with the rest of the tutorial you need to lock all your background so that those don't move while you work so as you can see i'm just clicking on my backgrounds and i'm locking everything we are going to move this layer to the top and i'm going to reduce it a little and set that right there and i'm going to make a copy so select it command j make a copy and i'm going to set that right on the bottom just like that we're going to type in birthday and i'm going to highlight and we are going to change this to the charlie sebastian and i'm going to go ahead to make it big so i'm going to highlight this portion of my text and under my property make this all lowercase highlight the whole font and set it to white and i'm going to move that and set that right there and make it a lot bigger like that we're going to double click on the font and we are going to add just a drop shadow i'm going to take the opacity all the way up and i'm going to go ahead to reduce my shadows now i'm going to go ahead to click ok so i'm going to go ahead to move this layer and set that below add a gaussian blur to that line effect so that i can sort of reduce it and keep it minimal and not too much i'm going to go ahead to click ok now i'm going to add a layer max pick up my brush tool with my foreground as black we all know black hides white reveals increase your flow and you can basically paint in this area so we can get rid of some of the lines i'm going to drag and drop this image in double click and we are going to move this image to the very top and we are going to go under our property we are going to first of all convert this into a layer and then go ahead and click on remove background now photoshop does well to cut it out for us now if we want to refine the hair we can double click on our layer max thumbnail and we are going to go ahead and click on refine hair and we can go ahead and pick our pick our refine edge brush and we can brush off this area so that it blends in nicely now we can go ahead and click on decontaminate it will fill in the hair and we can go ahead to click ok so we are going to go ahead to select our bash on the bottom and the birthday and we are going to move that above our subject so that is on top so click on the layer max thumbnail pick up your brush tool and make sure your foreground is black and you are on the layer max thumbnail go ahead and brush in this area just so we can basically hide this portion of our subject so we have something looking more like this so i'm going to go ahead to pick up my eclipse marquee tool I'm going to go ahead to draw a circle like that go under my property under appearance we want to fill this in with a red we want to make sure the stroke effect is empty we're going to move this shape and set it somewhere here like that go under filter blair gushin blair we need to first of all convert this into a smart object and we can go ahead and blur this a little so that it sort of mimics the background blur technique i'm going to go ahead to click ok now we want to go ahead and pick up our type tool and i'm going to choose the century gothic and i'm going to type in august i'm going to highlight all of these three and i'm going to change the style to bold 
under my property VA. I'm going to close up the gap and I'm going to close up the gap in between the font. Now I'm going to go ahead to select 31 and I'm going to go ahead to increase that and I'm going to highlight my August and do the same thing so they all are stacked on the same line. If you want to add a little bit of a glow effect, you can actually click on the outline text, right click and then copy the layer style. Click on this layer, right click and basically paste in 10 of the inner glow effect. We're going to type in 7, highlight, set that to white and we are going to change the font to the B bus. And I'm going to go ahead to increase it like that. Double click to accept it. You can change the font uh, style thickness. I'm going to set that here. Now the only thing left is to put the address and the location. So to finish it off, we are going to add a camera raw effect. So we are going to click on the top layer and we are going to go ahead to click on adjustment and add a color look up. Now you want to click on the options and we are going to choose the Fuji Inter Interna and this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all back. Bye y'all.